Here we have an example document where uh, we have a drawing of a building. Uh, and within that, we have um, uh, different um, data around equipment or electrical information, HVAC, uh, uh, plumbing information, and so on. And, and, and so this, for many users, might be just too much information. It's really hard to see uh, which part of the document pertains to, to uh, uh, different parts of the building. And if I were, for example, a plumber uh, going into a building and wanting to do some some repair uh, of, of some of the plumbing there, um, I, I might want to get rid of some of this information here from my view, uh, just to kind of simplify things and make my, make my job a lot easier. And uh, by being able to toggle off these optional content groups, these layers inside of the PDF, uh, we get a much uh, simpler rendering. Uh, you know, if I were just curious about uh, this building and where where the plumbing was located in it, I, I could see that information right away without having to to uh, find it uh, amongst the jumble of of other information. Um, so this could really help uh, uh, make for a smoother uh, kind of work experience for end users. Um, and by performing the rendering here on the client side, I, I can toggle off those layers and see the new rendering immediately. Another thing that really uh, has a big impact on users in the AEC space uh, is the fact that we're able to comply with uh, the PDF specification. And since we wrote the code ourselves, um, if there are any issues with the rendering, we can go back and correct those. And one of the ways that shows up is, um, for example, an edge case in the PDF specification on how zero width lines are rendered. Um, so uh, if inside of a PDF document, I describe a line as being rendered zero width, uh, then that should remain one pixel wide when rendered. Um, so when I zoom into it, it should it should remain a constant size. Uh, and that really has an impact on, um, for, for example, the, the measurement tools that Peter was showing earlier. Uh, if I'm measuring something and it's the wrong width, uh, then that could have impacts on how uh, uh, things are constructed in the real world. Uh, and if different uh, parts of the construction crew, say like you know the contractors and different subcontractors, if they're using different rendering engines, they might render the same document in different ways and something might be built uh, that's incompatible with, with other things that are built or they might be outside of uh, regulation or um, just, just otherwise uh, require the rebuilding uh, of something on a job site. And you know, that can have big impacts in terms of cost, of course. Um, you know, there could be, uh, uh, mistakes on the job site that maybe go through to the actual, um, you know, after construction and maybe lead to structural weakness or, or some other issues that might incur liability. Um, so it's very important that all of this is built uh, uh, correctly. And, and in order to do so, everybody has to be working off of the same plans. Um, and so this uh, consistent rendering cross-platform really um, en enables that and allows uh, allows everyone to, to, to build things exactly the same way and to be to be completely on the same page.